Okay, I've skipped pages 719, 720, and 721. And we are now at the top of page 722. We're going to look at how you can track the changes in an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, we want to go to the Review tab. And uh, in the Changes group, we want to click on Track Changes here. And we want to tell it to highlight the changes that we make. And we want to turn on Track Changes while editing. And it says click on all of the checkboxes here to clear them if necessary. So they are now all cleared. And then click the OK button. And it says, uh, yeah, we want to go ahead and save the workbook and click on OK. And we're going to we're going to skip over the email part because that uh, also does not work on my computer. And we're going to skip over to page uh, 725. And we need to open up another file here. And we want to go to chapter 11. And we want spinning around analysis 1 right here. Open that up. Okay, and this should match the picture on the top of page 725. And uh, click Review to display the Review tab. We're already there. Click the Track Changes button here. And we want to highlight the changes. And let me see. Um, we want to turn that off, and it should match what's on the bottom of page 725 now. And click the OK button. And we want to go to cell C8 right here. And there's a comment about the change that was made to cell C8. Okay. And it says um, Sue Shields. And uh, it tells about the change that she made. Now, the change here is the same. The date and time that show up on mine are different from what they are in the textbook. Um, and they may be different on yours as well. And um, so now we've got a description of the change that was made. And I'm um, going to go to the Track Changes button again up here um, on number 4 on page 726. And now we're on number 5 at the top of page 727. And we're going to click on Accept to Reject the Changes. And we want to clear all of them. Click on OK. Now my screen looks a little different from the one at the bottom of page 727. But it does appear that um, Marty Fields start out as 242. Marty Fields apparently changed it to a blank and then changed it back to 242 again. And if you look at the bottom of page 727, uh, it says that he changed C5 from blank to 242. So it doesn't look the same, but I think it's describing the same event. And click on the accept button. So we want to accept that change. Whoops. 
click on this, click on accept, and um, we want to keep on accepting them until the dialog box closes and we're going to take uh, that one and accept it, we're going to take that one and accept it, we're going to take that one and accept it, take that one and accept it, and that one and accept, that one, we got a lot of changes here, and that one and accept, and now we're done. Okay, um, number 8 on page 728, click the show all comments button. and it should show all the comments that are there and then we want to right click A4 right here and we want to delete the comment and we also could have gone up here to delete the comment um, right click cell A7 and delete that comment, right click cell A10 and delete that comment and, uh, and we're going to turn off showing comments and then we're going to go uh, save the workbook with a new file name so we're going to go to the file menu and we're going to do a save as and we're going to call this spinning around analysis and I'm going to put my name on the end of this and save it now I'm at the top of page 729 and um, click the track change button click highlight changes and we want to turn this off and now it will not track our changes anymore and click OK and then remove the workbook from shared use we click on yes and then we close the workbook and we'll stop there